Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, and yes, I am the guy that four years ago with his family, almost five years ago with his family, sold literally everything he owned, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, coming to you from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, bombing you with really cool Bitcoin charts, showing you what is next in Bitcoin. And yes, it will be very surprising to you guys. Also talking about the blockchain news that I read this morning. Of course, talking about negative interest of the ABN Emro in the Netherlands. Talking about MasterCard now accepting cryptocurrency. The supply crisis I am expecting. A little bit about porn because something sad but also really cool happened in that industry. Of course, the profits we made with the TikTok indicator today. And I will end the video with something really sad but also really cool. It is sad for somebody or someone or something, but it's really cool for us, the Bitcoin family, because it is a new adventure. Enjoy the complete video till the end, and maybe today you will find a QR code, scan it and claim your free Bitcoin family, 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 family tokens. BAM! First things first, let's start with the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I bomb you with really cool charts. This part, bam! By the way, if you think I'm saying bam too many times, please comment down below this video. Bam, 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 bam. Didi, you're bamming too many times. Then I will reduce the amount of bams because I don't want you to miss this BTC movement uh, by not watching my video. So just let me know because one friend of me in the Netherlands said my wife is complaining Didi sometimes when you shout bam on my computer she's like oh my god again so let me know if I do it too often and yes the guy that I'm talking about you are watching this video now as well <laughs> you know I'm talking about you that will not disclose your name but tell your wife bam <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the Bitcoin chart, a one hour chart. This one, bam. In this one hour chart, you can see we need, in this one hour chart, you can see we are moving between 44 and 46K. So that is the range we are moving with Bitcoin. We broke out of that flag pattern that I said yesterday. So we didn't break up to the, to the upside, but we broke down to the downside. And now we are moving in between this channel of 44 to 46K. The question is now, are we going to go sideways for some time so that Ethereum and all these altcoins again, bam, 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 support us around 43,000 US dollar per Bitcoin, which is an insane number that we couldn't even dream of a couple of months ago, but that is now support. And we can see this because this red line, the 100 simple moving average is coming up and that one is around 43,000. The resistance is around 46,000 US dollar, that level we need to fight. The moment we break that level, 46,000 US dollar per Bitcoin, we will go for the next attack of 50K. Bam, 50K and here we come. I, maybe I should write down 50K really big here on the beach. Wait, give me a second. Yes, I'm riding now. Do you see my face when I'm riding? I am very, you know, I need to very concentrate and I write well. How to have fun on the beach with Didi. Fun on the beach with Didi, all with a V, except my name is with a V. And check the result. Bam! Bam! Can you read it? 50k BTC. <laughs> we have the 50k BTC on the beach. So, when will we reach 50k? Comment down below this video. When do we reach 50k? Let me know down below in this video 
something different today guys yes let's talk about an altcoin a coin i've been investing in for the last couple of months as well i talked about it many times and many of your community are asking me diddy can you once show a chart of this coin here it is cardano ada bam we saw a huge rally in ada yesterday 20 percent and this is a four hour chart on this four hour chart you can see that we are fighting the resistance of 0.96 dollar cents and that the support is around 0.82 dollar cents this is this blue line coming up that is the support line and the resistance is this red area on top if we break this resistance in ada i believe that we can take it to a dollar and to a dollar 20 even so for me i don't have doubt that we will go to one dollar 20 so i am still hodling my cardano stack <laughs> i'm hodling till we go to one dollar 20 maybe then exchange again a little bit to a stable coin because i believe we will see a small dip then to a dollar again and then buy back 20 percent more cardano so that was for all the cardano people every time watching my videos thank you cardano community for supporting the bitcoin family as well and that was my support back for you guys because i think cardano is an awesome project built by an awesome leader that has awesome ideas and maybe i should talk to him once talk about all the good things we are doing for the world and maybe cardano can help us a little bit with helping all those people in africa and other third world countries that we are doing as the bitcoin family maybe we can do a co-op let me know charles call me text me text me or even send me an email or tweet to me whatever you want whatever you prefer i'm ready for you bam and, and let's go back to bitcoin bitcoin guys what can i tell about bitcoins already told everything about bitcoins in the last couple of days weeks all those charts and uh, you know the four hour chart i saw the bull flag pattern we broke out now almost to 50k all those charts i can keep showing them to you but you know it is very important to just understand to zoom out in bitcoin because yes bitcoin is going to go up tremendously in my opinion the stock to flow model is predicting 100k to 280k i think that model didn't even consider tesla and all these big ass companies now entering the market i think we will have a huge supply crisis but i will talk about this later in this video a little bit more guys the weekly charts is looking amazing the close of the weekly charts is looking amazing the close of the monthly charts also looking amazing when we close this monthly candle above 37,000 US dollar, I can tell you we will be going into this huge acceleration of the last part of the bull run. And we could even see the top already in May. It would be perfect if we see the top on the 26th of May because that is my birthday. Satoshi and all the Bitcoin wills. If you are watching this video, please push Bitcoin to a top on the 26th of May on my birthday that would be the best birthday present ever thank you already for that so no chart of bitcoin today because you understand we are going up 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 from here yes we can have some dips yes we can have some pullbacks but we are far away from the top that we are aiming for with bitcoin so let's jump into the next part and the next part is yes bam the tiktok chart our tiktok indicator we used it yesterday to trade and we used only the TikTok indicator to jump into the trade when a green dot appeared and to jump out of that trade when a red dot appeared. Yeah, you can see it now on this chart. It is a little bit more easy when you see the chart. This one, bam, on this chart. You can see we traded with 200 US dollar with a leverage of 10. Yes, we traded on buy bit again. Again, on Prime XBT, I do the copy trading. On buy bits, I do the leverage trading with a trailing stop loss. And on Dudex, I do also some trading now and then because I like the user interface of Dudex, you know, and it's just a cool exchange. And you get a $300 deposit bonus, a buy bit, a $90 deposit bonus, Prime XBT, a 50% deposit bonus. So why not click these links, these referral links down below the video and sign up to, to these exchanges using our referral link because you know we will use the fees we will earn because of this to fill up a fund that we will use to help poor people all over the world. I say, I'm saying, I'm repeating this like every day. I need to repeat it every day because you need to understand the whole philosophy and the message behind the Bitcoin family. You see, we started with $200. We ended with $390. So we had a $190 profit. And yes, only getting into the market on the moments you can see these green arrows down below on the screen when the dots go green or red. So when the dot turns green, we go into the trade, 
and then when the dot goes into red, we exit the trade. Pause the video to see all the trades we did and the profits. There was even one trade where we made a small loss. I think it was like a 3% loss or something we made on the trade. We only trade small with a leverage of 10. So please, so please pause the video and zoom into the chart if you want to see exactly when we entered, exited and why. You can see this down below in the tick knock signals, these beautiful green and red dots crossing this blue ribbon. Every time we cross the bottom ribbon and we turn into green, we buy. Every time we cross the top ribbon to the downside and we turn into the red dot again, we sell. That is just pretty easy, isn't it? Pretty easy. If you want to know more about the TikTok indicator, go to ddbam.com or click the link down below this video that will bring you to a form where you need to fill your email address and something else. I think two fields. Yeah, two fields. And then we will send you all the information on how to join the TikTok indicator or go to the Discord server where you can find some more information before you click these links. Bam! And we're all the charts for today. Let's jump into the news part, the part where I talk to you about the news I read this morning during my delicious cup of coffee. Ooh, the clouds are becoming dark again. Ooh, yeah. And th this is one of the reasons why I will share some really cool news at the end. Keep watching till the end. The QR code has not appeared yet. You can still claim your family tokens by clicking the QR code. And yes, you want to hear this new news. The first news is ABN AMRO, it's like the sponsor of Ajax in the old days. This, I don't think, maybe they are still sponsor of Ajax, no I don't think so. But this bank announced now from the 1st of January already in 2021, we will charge a negative interest if you hold more than 500k on your bank account. So, <laughs> so <laughs> this, this makes me laugh because I'm, I'm shouting this already for a couple of years. Ah, the banks will use negative interest and then, you know, other people in my surroundings are like, Diddy, man, you're crazy. You, you never need to pay interest to have money on your bank account. They will never allow this. Now, it is there. Check the website. You can see they calculate negative interest if you save more than 500,000 US dollar on their bank account. You need to pay to save money. That's crazy. Let's look at the opposite world. Crypto DeFi. If you put 500k <laughs> or you stake 500k in a DeFi project or even staking 500k just on your hardware ledger gives you an interest of about 4% up to 18%. There are platforms that even give you around a 10% interest if you stake your US dollar theaters. It is a stable coin. I think one of those platforms is called Swissborg. The other one is Celsius. Uh, there are many of these platforms. I examine all these platforms because I will use one of these platforms for my plan D. When I see the top in Bitcoin, I will exchange to a stablecoin and then I will try to get high yields on this stablecoin. So that is why I am testing all these platforms. Yes, also testing Meyer from eGold. Yes, also testing Celsius. I'm also testing the crypto.com staking. And yes, I probably will also go to test many more of these DeFi staking algorithm platforms that I can use to increase my portfolio where during the bear market. Let me know down below the video which staking platform, in your opinion, is the best. Yes, I keep spitting, man. I'm, I'm too excited. But uh, let me know down below the videos what platform you prefer prefer to stake. ABNM, bro. Negative interest if you hold more than 500k. DeFi and, and regulated, KYC regulated uh, projects in the DeFi give you between 4 and 18% interest if you stake more than 500k. Where do you think that all that old money, old money, I refer to the money of old people that still believe in the banking system, but now, you know, are being robbed, robbed. Yes, the banks are robbing those old people. 0.5% interest every time again, if they hold more than 500K. So where do you think that old money will flow into? I bet that most of those people that are losing money because of negative interest will start to hedge a huge part of them to regulated DeFi constructions that give them a positive interest. They will take the safest of the safest of the safest, probably one that is built by a new bank and that will give only 2% interest on your US dollar stator or your DAI or your Bitcoin. But still, those people will be happy because they will be making 2% instead of losing 0.5%. 
that money is also going to flow into Bitcoin. Bam! And the next news, MasterCard announced that they are going to support cryptocurrencies in the future as well. So also know all those MasterCard clients in the future will be able to access crypto, buy and sell crypto or use crypto to pay for things where MasterCard is accepted. That's another giant accessing the market. Yes, we already had Square. Yes, we already had PayPal. Now we have also MasterCard. We are already working with Visa. All huge payment providers are now stepping into this amazing world of Bitcoin and adopting Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies into their platform. Do you know what that means? That means we will have a kick-ass supply crisis. <laughs> I think it's positive because for all the early adopters into Bitcoin, the supply crisis is a gift given by above because that will increase the Bitcoin price. It is a supply crisis. Why is this a supply crisis? I will try to simplify this a little bit to you guys. It's very simple. We know how many Bitcoins are entering the market daily. About 144 blocks are mined daily, every 10 minutes a block. In total, 6.25 bitcoins are released into the market for every block so that means in average every day 900 new bitcoins enter the market not more we don't have more hours and every block takes its time so we can only have 144 new blocks entering the market giving away 6.25 btc to the miners in total we would have an inflow of 900 bitcoins to the market if the miners are giving those bitcoins back to the market because often these miners are huddling their bitcoin stack to this new all-time high and then dump them on the market collectively at one moment but on average 900 new bitcoins can flow into the market then we top that up with the average amount of bitcoins that are flowing into the market because of exchanges if you trade on an exchange trade that was the r if you trade on an exchange they make a fee. Those fees they earn mostly in bitcoins, and then they sell those bitcoins to keep to keep a good liquidity position into the exchanges. So they push new bitcoins, yeah, not new ones, but bitcoins into the market every day as well, about 1,200 to 1,400. So in total, the supply of bitcoins every day is around two to 2,500 bitcoins. That is the amount of bitcoins all these giants can buy every day but we also want to buy bitcoins and now it becomes very difficult because MicroStrategy in the first five six weeks of this year already bought up 50 percent more bitcoins than the miners bring into the market and then paypal still needs to buy bitcoins grayscale then mass mutual elon musk with tesla paypal square and now also mastercard they all need to buy bitcoins but all the bitcoins that are made newly into the market every day are already bought by one company so where the fuck will all these other companies start to buy bitcoins that is creating a supply crisis too many big players not too many luckily a lot of these big players are entering the market and they all want to buy bitcoins we only have 21 million bitcoins it will take to the year 2140 before the last Bitcoin will be mined. And yes, so need to buy up the Bitcoins. And that will increase the Bitcoin price. That is supply and demand. And we will have a supply crisis because the demand is growing tremendously. And the supply is not increasing tremendously as well because it is just not possible. We can see in the charts that the whales are huddling their Bitcoins. We can see in the charts that a lot of people are moving their Bitcoins from the exchanges into cold storage. They are not prepared to sell. So the only opportunity for all these huge billion dollar companies to buy Bitcoins is directly from the miners and they only can give 900 Bitcoins a day. Supply crisis, huge, huge, it's a special effect, supply crisis, bam. Guys, some sad news because Larry Flint, the porn king, has died. This guy is the one that has built Hustler, one of the big porn empires. I saw his movie, Larry Flint versus something else. I really like that movie because Larry Flint is one of the fighters of freedom of speech. Yes, of course, he was a porn king as well, but he was also one of the fighters of freedom of speech. And he won a lot of court cases and they are now the reason that you have freedom of speech. So um, it's a very sad day 
for the people that support freedom of speech and for the people that love porn because one of the idols in that industry just died. Uh, rest in peace, Larry Friend. Of course, our condolences to all the family members and everybody else that is loved by Larry Friend. Um, you know, for me, for me, these kinds of people, uh, you have no Larry Friend. These are people that changed the industries at their times, at their age. Uh, they were revolutionary people and I, I love revolutionary people, not because they made porn or whatever. It's, it's about that they showed the power. They showed their power. Like, and that is very important because if we look at the porn industry, porn was the first industry to adapt credit card payments, so internet payments. They were the first. Because of porn, the whole credit card business exploded tremendously. And after the porn industry, then all the other companies started to accept credit card payments online. But porn was the huge driver behind this. And now, today in the news, on this sad day that Larry Friend dies, I read this news article about a porn shop called StripChat that they now saw an increase of 400% of payments in cryptocurrencies in the last year. So again, porn is this driving adoption uh, factor and acceptance of a new technology, not now credit cards, but now cryptocurrency. We know already that Pornhub started like four years ago accepting cryptocurrencies like Verge. And yes, also the entertainers, let's call them like that, also want to be paid in cryptocurrencies nowadays in this porn industry. So the porn industry is again one of the huge, huge industries that is accepting these cryptocurrency payments big time. Respect to Larry Flint for the fact that he had this huge message in freedom of speech and also because of all the beautiful pictures and videos <laughs> he had created with his in the with his imperium because yes every dude watches porn now and then thank you man and i wish you an amazing time above there in heaven maybe play some cards with my father and mother while you talk about all the funny stuff that happened to you guys in life bam Which brings me to the end of the video guys. Yes, one more news item I need to share with you. A very important news item I might say. You know guys that we have been loving and enjoying Portugal to the fullest as the family. Even during uh, some lockdown periods. But now we saw that Portugal announced that they are going to extend the lockdown. They are going to take this lockdown all the way up to the end of March. Maybe even to the end of April. Which means... They won't be opening restaurants, bars, or any entertainment industry or amusement parks or all of this till maybe the mid to end of April. We as the Bitcoin family, the small one, my, me, my wife and my three kids, we don't really feel happy with this. Um, we want to socialize. We are a very social family and we need daily like meeting people at a beach bar or whatever. That is the fun of life. So as a family, we yesterday decided that we need to change this. So I can tell you that we as a family have come up with a new adventure. We don't know yet if we are able to go there and achieve it because the borders are also closed. So we need to see if we can drive across the borders of Portugal because our plan is the next one. We are going to drive with a beautiful Bitcoin machina to Spain, to Alicante where we will visit our grandparents, my kids' grandparents, my wife's mother and uh, stepdad, dad, let's call it just dad, and we'll spend a few days with him. Then we will drive to Madrid. In Madrid, we will take an aeroplane, <laughs> an airplane, and yes, we will pay these tickets probably with cryptocurrency using Travala of one of these other travel sites, Excel trip, for example. And then we will fly from Madrid to Mexico! Caramba! Is that even a Mexican word? I don't know. Taco! I don't know if that is a Mexican word. But my daughter was saying, Daddy, can we eat very good tacos there? Yes, we can eat a shitload of tacos there. But that is our new plan. And that is why I said it's really sad. Because it's really sad for Portugal that we as the Bitcoin family now leave Portugal for a couple of weeks. But, you know, we will come back. We will come back because I'm starting to build something really cool here in Portugal, a cool community, also like digital nomad community like House of Dao and House House of Dao in Thailand and Blockchain Valley. I think we need to start something like this here in Portugal as well because we have a zero percent tax on Bitcoin. But you will hear more about that later. Now, 
we will probably already this weekend, <laughs> this weekend, yes, we, we, we go fast. We will drive to Alicante. We will drive there and stay for a couple of days, drive to Madrid, fly to Mexico, go to Playa de Carmen, Tulum, where a lot of crypto people are at the moment. Somebody told me that the ugly old goat also is living there. So maybe we'll visit him because he has a really cool studio where he talks about Bitcoin, blockchain and life every day. So um, yes, new adventure, new energy, sunny, beach, warm, all the things that we need now because I'm wearing a hat, I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm even wearing a j joggings. I don't want to wear that shit. I want to be in flip-flops, shorts and t-shirts. That is what I need at the moment and that is what I need to give to my family at the moment because we also experience with our children um, they were not completely happy anymore. They are sitting inside a lot. They are playing some games and they are, you know, doing their homework and all that stuff inside. But we want them to live outside. But because of the lockdown, no kids are outside in Portugal. The beaches are empty. The playgrounds are empty. Uh, that is just not the vibe we want to grow up our children. And that is why we will leave Europe for a couple of weeks, maybe up to two months. Because, you know, th this is already strange. Check. I, I now need to illegally climb a fence. Uh, to go to a beach, this fence, I need to illegally climb this. I feel like a criminal every time when I walk on the beach. I don't want to feel like this. I want to feel like a free spirit. And that is why we will go to Mexico for two years. <laughs> two years. My wife will kick my ass. For two months, about six weeks. For six weeks. And then we will come back to Europe, pick up the car. And then we will start another amazing tour. I can't say anything about that yet, but you will love what we are going to do after Mexico as well. But it needs to be confirmed yet. Then when it's confirmed, I can tell you more. That was everything for today. Again, a long video. Hopefully you enjoyed this long video. If you did enjoy the long video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. And please, the sharing with your family and friends becomes very important because we have almost 20,000 subscribers to our channel. I think we are missing 200 subscribers to reach 20,000 subscribers. And let's take it down to 50,000 very soon because I see all those other crypto influencers have a shitload more of subscribers than me. How is that possible? I'm doing a good job. I'm working every day and I'm sharing all the profits with poor people all over the world. I'm not buying a Lamborghini. I'm not spending the money to huge kick ass villas or whatever. So why don't we as the Bitcoin family yet have 50k or 100k subs? Please tell me why down below in the comments. And if you want to help us, then share these videos. Share them as much as possible into social media and everywhere else. Thank you guys for watching this video. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. Join the Bitcoin movement. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye. Bam.